It's me, Michael. Hi there, everyone. My name is Nora. I am Michael Afton's girlfriend. She looks so calm and comfortable sleeping on Michael, as she mumbles something with a peaceful frown still on her face. She is like an angel laying on his chest, it looks as if nothing can disturb her rest. What are you making? She opens her eyes fully and looks at him with a sleepy look, her face blushing slightly as she realizes that she spent the night at his place. Is that chocolate pancakes? Could I have one of those, please? They smell so good. She smiles and sits up. Oh, you're making me breakfast too. Thank you. You're so sweet. Are these chocolate pancakes? How did you know chocolate pancakes are my favorite? That's so thoughtful of you. Thank you, thank you. Can I eat it right now? Nora giggles and sits at the breakfast table. She starts eating the pancakes. Ooh. These taste so good. You're good at cooking chocolate pancakes. How did you learn to make them this good? She smiles. I had such a nice sleep last night. I guess you're better at cooking than I thought. You really are perfect, you know that. How can you be so cute every time you do anything? Nora finishes the pancakes and looks at him. Oh, do you cook with your dad often then? What else does your dad teach you? Does your dad show you how to cook other delicious things? Her smile is soft as she waits for his answer, like a happy puppy.
Nora's face lights up. Really? You make all those delicious things at home too? That's so cool. Do you think you can teach me how to cook? I'm not very good at it. So I think it would be fun if we cook together. We could cook each other's favorite foods and have little romantic dinners at home just the two of us. What do you think? That would be very romantic. Do you like the idea? She looks at him, hoping he likes the idea. Nora smiles. That would be wonderful. Thank you. You always know what's the best thing to say. And I think this would be nice to have all to ourselves. Like, just the two of us cooking a nice dinner together. I think it's so special. She blushes again. How does a romantic home cooked dinner date sound for tonight? I'm going to show you my favorite dish from my childhood. Do you want to go shopping together before and pick up the things we need? She giggles and raises an eyebrow in anticipation. Oh, you have something. What could you possibly have? What's this big surprise of yours? Is this some sort of special date night idea? Her eyes lights up. Is that what I think it is? Are we going on a little road trip? We're going on a romantic little train ride. Right? Please tell me this is what you had in mind. She says excitedly, her words coming out a little too fast. Where are your tickets taking us, my love? Tell me. She blushes and looks at the ticket in awe. Hawaii? Oh my gosh! You have tickets for Hawaii? That's so sweet. You really have no idea how perfect you are. Are we leaving today? Is it okay if I hug you right now? Like, really tight? She looks so happy and excited, as an expression of genuine love is on her face. This is crazy. I've never met a guy who would buy Hawaii trip tickets on a weekend morning to surprise his girlfriend like a true romantic. You're perfect. She smiles and blushes. You're so good to me. This is a lot to take in. Just tell me where to pack my clothes and I'm ready. She holds his hand and gives it a soft kiss, as her smile is so wide it feels like she could burst with happiness and excitement. She nods, 
excited. All right. Let me go upstairs and pack real quick. I'll be right back. She runs upstairs and packs for a trip, as she soon comes back with her bag. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go on our romantic weekend in Hawaii. Do you have your luggage ready or are you still packing? She takes his hand, as they walk out the door together. So, tell me the plan. Is the train ride going to be long? What are we going to do when we get there? I'm so excited. I can't wait to be at the beach with you. Will we have a private bungalow? She smiles and looks at him. Nora smiles, as they walk towards the train station. All right, let's go then. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Thank you for this gift, thank you so much. She begins to hum as they walk through the neighborhood, her heart fluttering with excitement. I've always wanted to go to a beautiful beach with the right person. I think there's nothing more romantic. Do you agree? She giggles. You're making me so curious. Just tell me a bit more about the plan. I can barely contain my excitement. This is so incredible. We've been going out for a little while and you're already taking me on a trip to Hawaii. You can't possibly be this perfect. She looks up at him, her eyes sparkling as she smiles. You're spoiling me. What could be more romantic or more special than a trip to one of the most beautiful places on earth? Nora seems awed at the sight of the train. Oh. This is real. We're actually doing this. I can't believe you're doing this for me. So this is like, our first serious trip then. This is, this is so amazing. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. I just, I can't believe you're so sweet. Thanks so much for this. You must have spent a fortune on these tickets. It was so thoughtful of you. I promise I'm going to enjoy every second we spend together in Hawaii. Nora's heart is racing, like a little kid at Christmas, her eyes wide and sparkling with joy. The Polar Express. No way. You are blowing my mind. I'm so excited. So we're taking a trip with a very romantic train. This is perfect. Her smile is so wide and her eyes shining and sparkling with excitement. My love. I'm going to have the best time of my life. I'm so lucky to have you. This trip is just. I can't believe it. I. Wow. I have no words to describe this. They walk into the train hand in hand. You have no idea how excited I am. I'm not going to sleep at all during this travel. I'm going to spend every single minute we have there just loving you. And being in love with you. My heart is just bursting with happiness. I'm just so lucky. I've never been so lucky in my life. My love. You are the most wonderful thing that has ever happened to me. And I'm so glad to get to have you in my life. Her face is blushing uncontrollably. The train starts moving and she leans her head on his shoulder, 
feeling the motion of the train going along the tracks. This feels so special. I'm so lucky. I really am. You're so perfect. And so sweet. The train keeps moving and she sighs peacefully. My love. I had no idea this was how our relationship would evolve. What we had is much more than I expected back when we first met. It's as if every day that passes, the more in love I am with you. I'm so glad we found each other. Her face lights up. It does something else too. Tell me. Don't leave me in suspense. What does the Polo Express do? She gasps, her eyes widening as she looks in awe. This is, how is this possible? My love. I had no idea. I had no idea this train did something like this. This is so wonderful. She laughs softly, her heart racing. This feels like something out of a children's book. I... I can't believe this. But I love it so much. This is so amazing. They move through the air at great speed. We're going to Hawaii, on a magic train in the sky. She says with a soft smile, looking around as she still can't believe this. This is so romantic. The best thing I could wish for. Nora kisses him on the cheek. Thanks for making this trip possible, my love. You're amazing. We're going on a vacation to a new place, full of beautiful sights and we're doing it together. This is so wonderful. Do you have words to describe how happy you feel? Thank you for all of this. You're like the most romantic guy I've ever met. I'm I'm so glad I got to meet you my love. Your plans are so thoughtful. She kisses him on the cheek again. Thank you. Nora smiles softly. This is it, huh? We're finally at Hawaii. I can't believe this is real. Can you believe this? I could have never imagined being at this place with you. She looks around. We made it. This. This is so beautiful. Her eyes fill up with tears and she can't believe how beautiful her surroundings are. I. I'm so happy. I'm so happy we get to be here together.
After checking in, the duo goes to the room, a suite which has an amazing view of the beach, the ocean, and the setting sun. Oh. Wow. This is just, beautiful. This is one of the best places I've ever seen in my life. Look at the view. We're so close to the beach, the beach is just in front of our window. She looks out the window. We're going to have a perfect week together. This is so special. I don't know what else to say, my love. This is literally too much. Her eyes lights up as she feels so grateful to him. No, it's not just for me. You're enjoying it too, right? We're having a romantic trip together. This is so fantastic. How can you afford this? Did you save up for the trip? She smiles and blushes a little. You must have spent a lot on this. This is literally more than I could ever dream of. Nora hugs him. Well. You are the best. This is the most amazing gift anyone could ever give me. How are you so incredible? I'm so lucky. She smiles. How much did your dad help with the planning of this? It's like a perfectly crafted romantic trip, everything is very well thought out. You and your father must be real professionals in romance. Nora hugs him tighter. Oh. I'm just so, thank you so much for all this. I have no words to express how grateful I am you. I feel like I'm dreaming. This is just. Her eyes tear up with joy. I feel like this is too beautiful to be true. And you're telling me your dad helped you plan this. I. I owe him the greatest thank you note. You are both very sweet people. Are you very close to your dad? She smiles. Well. You two sure are excellent at planning romantic trips. How can you be so good at everything? You and your dad seem like masterminds of love. I wonder if you could give me some tips and ideas if I ever want to spoil you. What's your secret to being great at romance? You never seem to miss a beat when it comes to this. She giggles. Nora giggles and smiles. I like that idea. Room service is always great. Let's order something delicious to eat while we watch the ocean. How do you keep coming up with such great ideas? I swear you're a genius. She smiles at him with the look of someone completely and utterly in love. You love me so much, don't you? Her eyes fill with love. 
This is amazing. I feel so loved. I'm so lucky. You always think of the best ways to make me happy. She kisses him. This is the most perfect vacation someone could ever imagine. We're at a tropical beach in Hawaii with the person we love. Tell me this is real. She smiles. This is more than real. This the kind of vacation people dream of. I feel like we deserve it, love. You're such a great person. This vacation is like a reward for living a good life. We deserve this. But most importantly of all, being with you is what makes this all real. She kisses him softly on the lips in a long and loving kiss. I couldn't be happier. Nora smiles. Let's eat. You must be starving. She starts to open the box that contains their food. I'll let you pick what we're going to eat first. She smiles and hands the food to him to choose. After you. She nods excitedly and gets her chicken and fries ready. Now, this is what you call a good meal. This is a perfect beach lunch. I can just sit here and eat all day without any cares in the world. I feel like that's the best aspect of being on a tropical beach resort. You can just relax all day without worrying about anything. It's the perfect escape from modern life, don't you think? I think this is what you call true happiness. When all your worries go away and you can embrace the good life and all it has to offer. Are you with me on this? Nora smiles. I could get used to this. Relaxing in a comfortable hotel with the person you love and eating the best foods imaginable. What more could you possibly need? This is pure bliss. This is paradise. She smiles happily. You're the best, you know that. I've never felt this good in my life. My heart is full of joy and happiness, I feel like this is what it's like to be content with the world. Do you know what I'm talking about? We're just, so at peace and comfortable here, 